Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to segment brain tumor and brain tissue using the DSI Studio. The data we are going to demonstrate here is publicly available on Open Neural website. The storage is the BTC pre-op. And thanks for authors sharing patient data to the public so everyone could use. Here we are going to use the patient number 26, a patient with astrocytoma for the demonstration. When you download the data from the open your website, you will see the data includes DWI and also the T1 weighted image. The T1 weighted image here is without contrast. And for processing DWI data, there are other videos showing how to come process it from Nifty file to the fifth file. And this file is readily available for fiber tracking. But for segmentation, without DWI, we could still have a segmentation just based on the D1 with the image. So let's start the SS Studio. Click on the step T3 fiber tracking visualization. And here, if you have DWI data, you could go ahead and then open the fifth file after processing it. If not, then we can still based on the T1, go to the folder where this T1 is stored and change your file format to show it and then open it here. Yes, the studio will show that the interface, including the slides in the 3D space. If you open this file from the fifth, fifth file, you may insert the T1 additionally using the insert other images. This allows you to insert other modality into include T2 flare or other mod modality available. To run the brain segmentation, the function is under slices, unit processing. If you don't have this on your data studio, make sure you to update the software. So that the second tissue. Here, DSS Studio would, would like you to specify the UNET model, and then you would list several files available, each of them representing a model. Some will be for animal study. Most of them will be for human and different modality on the application. GPN will be is training based on GPN data. Seg file is based on the normal template, so it's segmenting only the query parameter regions and other basal gun game. To segment brain tumor and also the brain tissue, we would choose the GPM model. And here the mortality is T1 without gadolinium. So we're choosing the T1W instead of T1 with gadolinium. So that set that this model, this studio will start computing, feeding this T1 weighted image into the UNM model and perform the segmentation work. The process will take a while using the CPU computation. And after generating the segmentation results, the region will be listed on the left for visualization and editing. It may take a while depending on your computation power. So right now we already have the segmentation result coming in, including great white matter and all other regions. You may inspect the results on the left. For example, here you can see different colors showing for different tissue gray white matter, basal ganglia, and where the brain tumor located, including the necrosis core and the enhancing tumor. So the intention part may not be an accurate estimation because this is only based on T1 without cathodinium and also peritumor edema. You can manually editing this region and there are other tutorial videos showing how to edit regions. So to visualize the tumor in the 3D space, first of all, we disable the slice rendering and then here we are not seeing the brain tumor because they're being occluded by the white matter and gray matter region. So first of all, let's uncheck all the one. 
just in showing the necrosis core and the enhancing tumor. So we see that there's a transparent part of the enhancing tumor coming in on top of the necrosis core. Another part will be peritumor edema. For the region that's, that's out in the outside, we will move it to the bottom so that visualization will, will not occlude those regions within. So this order determine the visualization order. The region in the middle need to go first, followed by those outside. For example, here we could visualize three part of the tumor. And then we can also edit like the white matter region and need it to move it to the bottom. Then you won't block the view of the tumor. As we can see here, the peritumor segmentation may not be accurate, but we could quickly use the region manual, modify region to defragment, remove, remove those fragments to improve it. So here's the set of the peritumor edema. Click on the modify region and defragment. So you remove those fragmented regions. If you open this on a fifth file, you can also run auto track function to help you with search for planning. Thank you for watching this video.